Okay, so now that we're done setting up our navigation menu, let's go on ahead and set up our store currency and our payment providers. Now, the reason that you want to set the correct store currency is so that the viewer will see the correct currency when he's browsing your site. For example, let's go to the website that we created during this course and click on one of the products that we added during the previous lessons. And as you can see here, the currency is a USD currency. That's because a few lessons ago I changed it and I may have tipped you guys on it. But let's go over that process really quick to see how it's done. And as you can see, any variation that I click on, the currency stays the same because I chose a USD currency. So head over to your Shopify dashboard, click on settings, click on general, scroll down until you see the store currency and simply change it to US dollar. The reason that we're going with US dollar is because in this course, I'm teaching you guys how to sell to the US audience. So the US audience resides in the United States and their currency is the US dollar. So we're going to go ahead and choose that and go ahead and save that. If you want to take it one step further and also market yourself not only to the US, all you have to do is download an app called Auto Multi Currency Converter. The link to it, by the way, is in the resources PDF that you have for this course. And once you install this app on your store, it will look like this. As you see here on the bottom right, you can choose which currency you want to go with. So if I click on that, I can go ahead and change the currency to any other currency that I want. And then it'll simply refresh the prices on the page with the currency that I'm interested in. So use that if you're planning to market outside the US. So that's regarding the store currency. Now let's talk about the payment providers that Shopify can provide you with. I don't know which country you're from, but every country works different than the next. So once again, head back to the Shopify dashboard, click on settings, then click on payments. And here you can see which payment providers you can go ahead and use. So once again, if you're in the US, you can go ahead and use Shopify payments, which is the default option. And also use PayPal, which Shopify already creates an account automatically for you when you create your Shopify account. And this is another very good method to receive payments from. But once again, if you reside outside the United States, you cannot use Shopify payments. You're going to have to go ahead and sign up with a third party payment provider. And do not worry about it. It's actually a very simple process. So I added the link to the online payment gateways that you can go ahead and choose depending on where you live around the world. The link to this page can be found once again on the course PDF that you have. So simply go ahead and click on the country wherever you're from. For example, let's click on Hungary in Europe. And if you scroll down, you can see what payment providers are available. And then just go ahead and reach out to one of them. Tell them that you have a Shopify store and that you would like to integrate their payment provider option in your store. And they'll guide you through the rest of the process. It's as simple as going into your Shopify settings where we were just at. Click on choose a third party provider and then choose them from the list and add whatever details you're getting from that provider so that the synchronization will work. And once you have that third party payment provider, don't forget to see exactly how much fees they're taking from you so you can calculate your break even accordingly. Remember that when you're using a third party payment provider, Shopify is going to take another 2% from your transaction from using third party payment processors when you are using the basic plan of $29 a month. So keep that in mind and configure the right payment provider to work with on your store. Once again, the payment provider is that payment option that your viewer will see when he's trying to check out with the product that he has in his cart from your store. Therefore, if they do not see the payment options that they want to use, for example, a Visa credit card or a MasterCard, some of them want to use only PayPal and some of them want to use other options that you have in the third party payment providers. So that's it when it comes to store currency and payment providers. Your assignment for this lesson is to choose the right store currency for your store and choose a third party payment provider which is supported by the country that you live in. And I'll see you in the next lesson where we will be going over the checkout settings and the shipping zones so that our customers can have a smooth checkout process without any problems and we won't be losing any sales this way. See you in the next lesson.